Sometime before 1600 BC in Athens, Greece, our business reflects on the story where Medusa was raped by Poseidon in the temple of Athena. To obtain revenge, Athena gave Medusa a head of snakes and deadly gaze to protect herself. Similar to Athena in the story, we want to give people the ability to protect themselves as we are committed to ensuring the safety and security of young people through a discreet method. Hence, the rattlesnake was created. In September 2019, we all decided to join a young enterprise team. Right from the first uh, meeting, we were met with impossible challenges. We had a company vote between a period care package and an alarm bracelet, previously brainstormed ideas. Both options had a really appealing, unique selling point, but our need to protect the community led us to creating our alarm bracelet. As we researched more into local crimes, we found the most vulnerable people to sexual assault are aged between 15 and 25, yet the alarm bracelet market currently doesn't cater towards them. The rattlesnake is a personal alarm that doubles as a fashionable bracelet that young people will want to wear. Our brand image of Medusa and our unique selling point helped give us a vision of what we wanted to create. It was exciting. It was creative. It was prolific. And it was full of setbacks. October to December was all about planning our manufacturing process. Our operation team came up with a multitude of designs that we were at first content with, but after feedback from Dragon Sam, it was all hands on deck. The alarm was not loud enough. So we increased the amplitude from 90 decibels to 120 decibels. The alarm was too clunky and uncomfortable. So we optimized the shape for a soft and comfortable fit. The alarm's production was not sustainable. So we came up with a new production solution. We outsourced alarms from Shenzhen Main Electronics Technology Co. in China and case of an upcycled scuba fabric from Jilly Mac Design. From where Jill herself taught us how to best sew the fabric together with, we used few leather braids. And after that, there was a rigorous team effort consisting of a multitude of after-school sessions of box making and sewing, but by the end, the alarm was done. We started the new year with full stocks, uh, full spirits, and ready to start selling. Our market strategy was to grow our digital presence. So we regularly update Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. This allowed us to engage our younger target audience. On top of effective digital marketing, we booked into popular events with a guaranteed high footfall, such as parents eating and trade fairs. The face-to-face -face sales talks were intimidating to deliver, but we had each other to gain the confidence needed to pitch our product. We printed eye-catching leaflets that complement our sales pitches and set out our trade stand to entice customers. In fact, we set up our trade stand so well that we won the best trade stand 2020 at the Reading YE competition. Our selling price of £10 with a unit cost of £4.04. pence making a profit of £5.96 for a bracelet. So far we have sold 29 rattlesnakes, generating a gross profit of £172.88 and a net profit of £97.88. Um, we started getting emails from our local area to raise awareness at the Crowthorne and Edgeborough School Christmas Fair. At the Reading Trade Fair we sold our first 10 rattlesnakes and then we set up a, a trade stand at the parents' evening of Year 12. We sold 11 rattlesnakes and gained a few more sales through social media and order forms. Throughout our journey, we achieved our main goals of raising awareness of sexual assault, preventing street crime, and most importantly, ensuring people feel safe. We achieved this through the product itself. The rattlesnake's core purpose was to protect the wearer from danger by alerting people nearby. However, the most important part of our YE experience was the skills we learned along the way. Our journey has been full of ups and downs, but despite the challenges, we have persevered as a team and learned the value of friendship, teamwork and resilience.